Sri Lanka pacer Noan Kulasekara recorded his best ever analysis in one-day internationals by taking 22 for 5 in his 10 overs. Kulasekara's figures helped Sri Lanka bowl out Australia for a paltry 74 runs in the third ODI at Brisbane. This was Australia's second lowest total against the Sri Lankans in ODIs. Interestingly, the three lowest totals ever by a team in ODIs have been against the Lankans. These were 35 by Zimbabwe in 2004, 36 by Canada in 2003 and 38 by Zimbabwe in 2001. Kulasekara and Lazit Malenga ripped apart the Australian batting lineup after skipper Michael Clark won the toss and elected to bat first. While Kulasekara claimed 5 wickets, Malenga bagged 3 for 14 of his 7 overs. Australia went into the game with a full strength side including opener David Warner, captain Michael Clark and keeper Matthew Wade. Thus, the collapse was rather unexpected. A weaker Australian side had posted a score upwards of 300 in the first ODI of the series. However, Mitchell Stark was Australia's top-run scorer in the innings on Friday. Stark scored 22 not out of 28 balls, including two hits to the fence during his stay. He added 34 runs with Xavier Doherty for the 10th wicket, which was the highest partnership for the hosts in the match. Left-handed opener Phil Hughes, who had scored an impressive century on his ODI debut in the first match, failed once again after a poor outing in the second match at Sydney. He was dismissed for just three runs. Australia's middle order, comprising David Hussey, George Bailey and Wade, could not provide any resistance and fell for four, a duck and eight respectively. Australia's lowest ODI total is 70 against New Zealand at Adelaide in 1986. Star of the innings, Kulasekara said, and I quote, Very happy I have taken five. I bowled line and length. The two new balls were swinging. Very hot today. Clark's was a special wicket, unquote.